Hey, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be discussing how to line up your knuckles and how to position the bat in your hands correctly to set you up for success. So whenever I start working with an athlete, the very, very first thing that we learn how to do is line up our knuckles. So we want our knuckles to be in a line on top of the bat and I'm gonna get into how to position your hands and get into this the easiest way. But the reason why we wanna be like this is to set ourselves up for being palm up, palm down. But also what this does is it allows us to have more flexibility and range of motion when we whip through the ball. The best way that I have found to get into this proper positioning with your knuckles and when you're trying to learn it is put the bat on the ground take the handle and place the handle up in your fingers. From here, close your hand, keep it in your fingers, close your hand and pull it straight on up. Now the key is, is when you pull it up, do not readjust your hands. We do not want it in our palm. We want it to stay up in our fingers like this and not down in our palm. One of the common things that I hear whenever an athlete gets like this is, I feel like I'm gonna let go of the bat. You're not gonna let go of the bat. So naturally we squeeze the bat whenever we hit, right? So the advantage of keeping it up in your fingers, like so, is that it will allow you, one, to be able to fully get range of motion because if you were to take a bat, put it in your palm and squeeze, Okay. If you squeeze and you try to fully extend, you don't have a lot of range of motion in your wrist. Okay, so a lot of pitchers, I like to explain it like, hey, when you throw a change up, you squeeze it, you lock, you lock your wrist. Same concept, you put the bat down into your palm, you squeeze it, it locks your wrist. Therefore, making you incapable of fully extending the end of your barrel through the ball just the difference. And if you hold it up in your fingers, you're a little bit stronger. You're able to have control over your barrel. And then if you slide it down in there, you'll feel a difference in how it sinks down. If whenever you have your bat in up in your fingers, if it still feels like you can't really get a firm grip, sometimes I, allow, I tell my athletes, like put your thumb right here. I know it looks different, but it helps with that barrel control and it helps like just give a little extra assist with keeping your barrel up and not allowing it to get into that drag position. Now that we've talked about range of motion, lining your knuckles up for range of motion and being able to fully extend through the ball, we're gonna talk about the other problem that commonly comes with not lining your knuckles up and that is rolling your hands too soon. So lining your knuckles up allows you to be palm up, palm down. And we want to stay palm up, palm down all the way through the ball as long as we can. So when we get our knuckles lined up, we get here, go into our teeter-totter. You see how I'm positioned, palm up, palm down. Then I'm at contact point, palm up, palm down, and I can fully extend palm up, palm down. If your knuckles are not, so I say, line up your knocking knuckles. Those are the knuckles we want, not your fist bump knuckles. <laughs> so if you do your fist bump knuckles, if you're here, you're already rolled. You're already in a roll position. So you're going to be bringing this down or you'll be uppercutting up. No good. The last tip that I'm gonna talk about with how to properly hold the bat is you have it up in your knuckles, you're holding it here. When you lift your hands up, you need to focus on lifting strong top hand or think about pulling your knob down. But either way, even if you think pull your knob down, you have to think strong top hand because whenever you go to your load and you go into your positioning, if you allow the bat to get down in this pocket, okay, if that handle goes down in your pocket or you don't have a strong lock up on this wrist right here, then we will get into this and that goes into a drag. We don't want that. So strong top hand so that you can set yourself up for success to keep that barrel up. 
quick recap, we want to position the handle in our knuckles. Lining up our knuckles allows us to stay palm up, palm down. It also gives us more range of motion through the ball. To assist in barrel control, if your hand is not quite strong enough to keep a good grip in your knuckles, you can place your thumb up under to help out. If you found value in this video, like and subscribe. If you know anyone that could really use seeing this video, send it on over their way. I would love to hear your feedback. In any other videos that you would like to see more of, please comment below. I'd love us to interact and get to know each other a little bit better. And until next time, let's keep getting better together.